all this is going to show plain text in this wire chart capture that I'm doing. So now looking through here, we can see I moved it over to bytes and we can see we're starting to actually see some plain text because this website is in HTTP. And if I keep scrolling through, at some point we should be able to find some plain text of like my login and my password. Now, luckily we do live in a great time of a lot of online resources between forums, but the big ones are like ChatGPT and maybe Gemini and whatever other ones. You can go over to them and be like, how do I filter to see this kind of traffic? How do I filter to see from this specific host to this specific host? And it'll help you come up with the proper syntax for these flags to filter out this traffic. So right there is plain text of my username going through. The idea is more of using it to try to figure out what's wrong with the network than try to you know find credentials or stuff like that but there's just one of the easier examples that i could show in this video right here so that's how we use wireshark like i said i just want to make a really brief overview of how to use wireshark it's a very daunting app to use if you aren't very familiar with it or you're not very familiar with breaking down network traffic but really at its core, it's really simple once you understand some of the basics. 